What's up guys? As we look to close out 2022 on a high note and head into 2023 with some more great swimming, we're taking a little break from our freestyle series and we're moving into a short intro video series on three ways that you can improve your lap swimming. Now, if you haven't gotten into true lap swimming yet, that's okay, this video is still for you. We want you to understand ways that you can make swimming easier and more efficient, okay? So with this introductory video, we're going to get started with the first step to getting better in your lap swimming, which is the push off. This is a very simple task. We wanna make sure that you do it right and up to par. First, we wanna talk about is the streamline. Now, if you don't remember much of the streamline, make sure to go back and check the introductory freestyle video out to get a little bit of a refresher because we're gonna go over it more here and it's gonna to apply to our push off off the wall. On the second half of this video, we're gonna talk about two ways that we teach on how to push off that are gonna make your swimming more convenient, more efficient, and make you have a little bit more of an enjoyable time during your lap swim. Before we get into the two right ways to push off the wall, first we're gonna talk about a few faults. One of the faults that I commonly see are people pushing off on the surface. Obviously, if you don't truly drop down underwater, you can't get into a nice, tight streamline and uh, remove the drag that you're going to experience, which many people do experience when they're pushing off on the surface. So one of those things that you wanna avoid is just pushing off aimlessly. Everything we wanna do in the water should be at least to some degree purposeful. So I'm gonna just demonstrate that briefly here. One of the things about pushing off on the surface is I can't actually get my feet comfortably on the wall when I push off on the surface. I just submarine myself up and don't actually get anywhere. I don't get a chance to really set my feet in the center of the wall and engage my legs when pushing off and thus that removes a lot of the power that I normally experience when I'm pushing off the wall. Another big issue that a lot of people have, it's not necessarily a huge issue, but it is noticeable, is not being in a tight streamline off the walls. When people push off in a body position or the Superman position, or are just have a loose streamline, they tend to experience a lot of drag when they're pushing off, and thus may even veer off to the side. Some people have an issue about being a little bit imbalanced. And yes, that's okay, but we do want to mitigate some of those issues to make your swimming a little bit easier. So focusing on pushing off incorrectly, we talk about not being in a tight streamline, my arms are not gonna to be together, my biceps won't be squeezed, uh, legs won't be tight together either. Now going into the two right ways to push off the wall, we teach first the less advanced version on your stomach. If this is more comfortable for you, we recommend it as long as you focus on getting under the water. You want to root your feet on the ground and put one foot on the wall. After you put a foot on the wall, you can drop down underneath the surface and then you can push off in your tight streamline. By dropping down underneath the surface and engaging in a tight streamline, I can get a good, strong push off. Think of a squat jump. If I can't really drop down into a comfortable position, I'm not going to experience the same amount of power going off of the wall. Now for the more advanced version, you're gonna be facing with your back to the water. You'll be facing the wall, hands on the wall. I'm gonna demonstrate on the higher gutter just to show you guys, but when I actually push off, I'm gonna go from down here. Both hands on the wall, feet on the ground. I want you to put one foot on the wall and lean staggered to one direction. After, you're going to drop down, get both feet on the wall, get into a position like you're about to jump up in the air and push off underwater, rotating to your stomach. Obviously, this is a little bit more advanced, so if you don't feel as comfortable with it, that is okay. But it never hurts to practice and try to find what is most comfortable for you. So demonstrating that now, I'm going to be dropping down, both hands on the wall, both feet on the bottom of the pool, one foot up, staggering myself facing the camera, drop down and rotate.
Now, with the more advanced version, you want to think about rotating after you push off. That typically tends to be the harder part for many people. It's not necessarily that your back is to the water, but more so that a lot of people have difficulty turning over after they push off. The big thing you want to think about is finding what's more comfortable for you and focusing on it and trying to perfect that craft. Obviously, you're gonna have a little bit more room to push off on your stomach on a deeper pool. It's a matter of preference. This pool, I have a shallower runway, so I can go either way, but one may be tighter or one may be more comfortable. It's a matter of preference. But you just wanna focus on rooting your feet on the ground and dropping down the direction that you wanna go. This more advanced version, dropping down, pushing off, and then rotating in my tight streamline whereas the aforementioned stomach, you're just dropping down, and pushing off directly in your streamline. Hopefully that helps, guys. Thanks for watching today's video. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe, share, ring the bell, comment with any questions. If you're in the DFW area and you'd like more information on swim lessons or swim team, be sure to visit www.sigmaswim.org.